Today we're on board the Ningaloo Virgin in Exmouth, Western Australia. It's our first and only sailing lesson before we depart to buy a boat of our own. It can't be that hard, right? I'm Abel, and this, this is Elaine. That's good there. All good? Yeah. You didn't have internet, did you? You know, Keep watching. This is just the beginning. This is a catamaran we looked at a few months ago. She was up for auction, but she sold prior to the auction date. Gave us a pretty good look at what we're in for, and it showed us exactly what we're gonna be looking for when we buy a yacht ourselves. And then into the room that needs to be packed up because we can't figure out what to take and what not to take. This is a tough decision. Fun? So much fun. Hey babe. Are you having fun? Seven years. And I don't miss it at all. I am ready to go. What do you want to do? I want to go right now. And what about the cleaning? Uh, who cares? Who Just cares? Does. Who cares? Who cares? Righto, let's go. So we keep those two books in. Yeah. 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 Still working on getting that down a little bit and sending those two on the ship. Ready? City life, flashlights when we fall into the night. Focus on what you feel. Just when you were calling around that back. And we were bound to the city life, flashlights when we fall into uh, the fridge, night. freezer. Focus um, you'll have like navigation lights or LED stuff though. And you'll have yeah, iPhones, laptops, camera chargers, GoPro charger, our LED lights. We're going to have. There's going to be GPSs. There'll be a majority of majority is going to be camera equipment. We think, although we have no idea. Why are you sitting so far away? So we're still learning on <laughs> where to sit, how to use it. And yeah. Maybe it's windy. Maybe it's not. Um, I we, feel we are not in the screen right now. Uh, it's a little bit low now. No, it should oh. be alright. Right. But we try. You don't have to sit behind. <laughs> so it's not perfect the first time. Trust Never. me. Do not think that you're going to go out and buy the best camera or the best anything that you're going to buy for your boat. It's going to be the right thing straight away. I mean, we have a laptop, an Apple laptop that's probably I don't know, probably five years old, and she struggles. But our budget just doesn't allow us and to buy this another camera, one. And camera, it's very old too. And your camera's probably five years old, so. Yeah. We're running some pretty old equipment. Um, the idea of, of Patreon, obviously, is to afford some better equipment to get some better quality stuff. I, I guess we're, we're doing it because some of you can't. Some of you are too scared. Um, we're going to teach you that you can do it. I and mean, if we can't teach you, then we'll show you how we're doing it. And if you can copy us in any way, why not? You can't. What's there to lose? There's nothing to lose. You just have to have a go.
Um, Mug it. Let's go find a boat, eh? Know where he is? The luggage. I think the hardest thing about blogging is remembering to blog. Um, picking up the camera and recording everything you do. Pretty much three days we haven't recorded anything, so here we are, cooking a barbecue, recording what we've done, painting all day, painting all day tomorrow, painting all day the next day. So I'm here in France, fishing a lake, a private lake, having zero luck, um, having a great time though. This morning we got two emails back, um, both from the caravan. Uh, two boats, both got great potential. Not sure on exactly logistically how to go about, you know, the, the next sort of six months from where they are, but that's all part of the game. In between looking for boats and fishing, and took a pretty sweet shot uh, panoramic on the Mavic Pro drone of an old abandoned mine site. There is always time for a beer on the tracker. Thank you, Canon, for taking us out. So today we went um, on an island next to Lorient. It's called L'Ile de Groix in Brittany. We had a fantastic weather and Abel even managed to catch a big fish. So there's literally hours spent online and I am telling you hours and I'm looking at boats on hundreds of websites and I'm talking to brokers every day. One of the ones we found is this one here. It's a, um, it's a 39 foot privilege. It's probably seen a little bit better days but it makes it affordable um, and we can you know try and get some quotes and stuff for a couple of things that need doing. It's not too bad. I've got a guy going to go have a look at that for us today. And that's over in Florida and if it's anything half decent we'll you'll probably put an offer in and fly over there and, and get started on doing a couple of bits of maintenance on it and working our way from there. How do you know if you found the right boat? I don't know if we found the right boat, when we find it, what we're looking for. We have a rough idea, we want a catamaran, um, something that's ocean going. Let's just say we're working on it. Stand by, we'll get there eventually. So I'm just fishing this crazy little river. Um, I've caught one little perch, uh, just using a little soft plastic, and it is beautiful. Just heading to the beach to go for a fish, and we've stopped past this local tackle shop, and I'll tell you, what a selection. That is a fantastic looking fishing shop. Have a look at that. That is where we're fishing. Steep as anything. Alright, I'm ready now, ready now. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fall back down now. Alright, I'm taking on, taking on me, taking on me, mm, baby. All I, I ever ask, ever ask, are you gonna, are you gonna be my lover? Tonight, we're taking away, taking with me, taking with me, mm, what if I... So the things you don't see is how long you spend on here looking for boats. So although we're fishing all the time, there's actually a lot of work going on in the mornings and at night time when there's not much else to do. I have looked at hundreds of boats online, spoken to many brokers, and it's a very slow process. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit us up on Facebook and Instagram. 
and the all-important Patreon to help us continue the dream.